Was it around this uh, time that you also thought, well, this music, this is what I want to do for, for the rest of my life? This is well, you know, I knew that I wanted to always be making music, but I never thought, um, really, and I still kind of find it amazing that I get to do this every day. It's, uh, it's not something I ever uh, imagined would happen or even tried to make happen. It's just, I think the three of us just, uh, just doing it for the love of it. We've always just like, you know, we, we'd, uh, we'd still be making music if no one cared about it or if it was sounded god awful, you know. It, it's just something we love to do and it's like um, um, something we, we, any spare moment we have, you know, if we're not working, we're making music. So it's just kind of always been that way for me. Well, how did you guys end up in a, in a band together? Well, Hayden, Hayden was from the same city as I was and um, he was in a bunch of really good bands and I was in a bunch of really bad bands. And, <laughs> and uh, after his bands quit, um, we just got to talking. We had friends of friends. We got introduced and we started, we asked when we started Mets and uh, with, went up with one other guy. But um, we had been living in Ottawa for a long time and we eventually decided, you know, it's time for a change of scenery. So him and I, we, we moved to Toronto. And the guy who was playing bass at the time um, just decided, you know, I'm not, I'm not going. I'm good here. I'm happy. And we're like, okay, that's you know, completely fine. So the two of us went down, and that's when we met Chris, and that's when we really started to make the music that the LP is and, and that kind of thing. Do, to... do you still speak to the? the guy oh yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, totally. I mean, like, I completely understand where he's coming from because, like, you know, at the time we'd be lucky to get a basement show, you know, and it was certainly not something worth uprooting your life for. <laughs> right. But for us, it was like just something we felt necessary to do. We just wanted to see, see another part of the country. And, and uh, yeah, that was, that's how it happened. Did, did you notice an immediate change when you moved to Toronto? Or? Well, yeah, they're very different cities and they have very different uh, music scenes. Toronto's much, much bigger. There's much, much more going on, happening in art and music, and so that was exciting. And uh, we we immediately were kind of ushered in. Uh, people were very supportive of what we were doing, like right away, and they were excited by it because I don't think there was too much of that sound happening in Toronto at the time. Um, so we felt welcome, and we just you know settled in and started to to work uh, more and more on on Mets. Well, they, they took a while because you formed, I believe, in 2007. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took a while for you to, to get your first debut album released. So well, why did it yeah. take that long? Um, no reason other than what we already talked about, you know, the working nine to five and just trying to find the time and the money to, to record. Um, you know, we, we didn't want to rush anything. We didn't want to put something out that wasn't something we thought was the best we could do. And so... Um, you know, we made that record before any label was interested, and it was a done, it was a finished entity uh, when we sent it over to Sub Pop. And so that record was, it was, it was uh, you know, something we had to make, and it, it was something that we made just the three of us with, with zero uh, uh, influence from anywhere else. Well, was that liberating in a sense that you can control everything? Yeah, I mean, we're still a little, little bit. Uh, uh, control freaks when it comes to everything. We're, we've, uh, we don't have a manager or anything like. We want to, we want to do it ourselves and make all those decisions ourselves, and uh, we well, just feel more comfortable that way. Well, why is that? Yeah, why do you feel more comfortable? Uh, I just think because no one else is in a position to know what is necessary or what is a good fit other than us. You know, because we're the ones uh, it affects. So, you know. All, the, all those decisions need to be something that the three of us agree on and you know not just not just musically but you know um, logistically and uh, everything like that so um, I don't think the who better to make those decisions than us you know? okay, well you recorded the album I rest somewhere in a bar yeah why did you um, go there? That was just Graham Walsh, who uh, we recorded a, a big chunk of the record with. That was his idea. Um, he said, I know this place. Um, uh, he had done some recording there, so he took us up there for a week and uh, brought some gear. And, you know, we just kind of stayed there for a whole week and worked around the clock. And it was, it was awesome. It was kind of the, the first time we ever were able to, to focus 100% on music. And, 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 uh, 
I think it, I think it paid off. You know, it's like nothing else was uh, on our minds other than the record. Did you have uh, all the? Uh, well, obviously, you had the songs uh, ready. But how does the song process, uh, writing process for you guys um, go? Is it, I know it's different for each song. I, I suppose, yeah. But yeah. In, 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 ge in general terms. Um, it's it's pretty collaborative. You know, we it often will start with maybe a guitar riff or something, and we'll and we'll the three of us will. Uh, Try to try to arrange something, uh, but it's funny because it often works in a backwards sort of way. Where we'll 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 have something, we'll be working on something, and then work backwards to try to cut the fat off, uh, try to really make it uh, uh, as as to the point uh, as possible. And um, so we will often start with something bigger or longer or more uh, complicated, and then chop chop that up into something that has maybe one or two ideas in it and uh, and then always the last part uh, is to write the lyrics for me I, I'll often when writing the songs have melodies in mind or you know uh, but as far as the actual lyrics go that's always something that I, I like to spend some time on and uh, you know walk around the city with uh, a demo of the song and then kind of figure that out that way so you start with the music and then Based on yeah. So that's also the inspiration, or do, do you have, maybe are are your lyrics um, autobiographical? Sometimes, um, but they're often um, heavily influenced by just the sound of the song as well. Um, kind of uh, whatever. Can Can you give me an example of, of of a song where where the the idea was so uh, influenced by by the music, where you had a certain riff or something, and then. Yeah, I mean, well, really, I'd say almost 95% of the record is that way, where it's like, what does this make me think of? And sometimes it'll be something that's happened in my life, or sometimes it will be um, just a feeling that I try to, that I think most people kind of go through, and then I um, try to put it into into sometimes a more fictional thing, like a like a. Just a, like a like a very micro small storyline, but that could be understood uh, in many different ways. Like I like I, I do like that sort of ambiguous, vague type thing, where people aren't exactly sure what what I'm getting at, but they uh, but you get that feel, you get that certain yeah. thing, and so that translates instead of the the uh, the, the actual um, like dialogue itself. Mm -hmm. 